Hey guys, Magnus Robert here, bringing you another video. Today we're going to be talking about and doing another Battle of the Best Events. Tapped out Battle of the Best Events. So, today we're going to be versing Burns Casino against Winter 2016. So yeah, <laughs> just to go over the rules, if you haven't watched any of the other previous episodes, I would uh, advise you do. But just to go over the rules real quick, the first point is for which one has the best theme and structure. The second point is for the one which one has the best characters, costumes, and NPC. The third point is one that has the best buildings slash building skins. The fourth point is the one with the best decorations. And the fifth and final point is my general reflection on the event, how good I think uh, I kind of my general view of the event is as of today. Um, we're nearly down to the end of round one. We've got one more episode after this. So after this, uh, there's one more and then we'll be finished with round one completely. We'll move on to round two. And after round two, hopefully we'll get rid of all the kind of crappy events. So let's jump into it. We're starting with which one has the best structure and theme. And we'll start off with the earlier event, which is Burns Casino. So Burns Casino is a pretty decent event. It has a really cool theme. It has uh, obviously the theme being casinos, and yeah, so the theme is there. Now there's plenty of mini games. Each act there is free. It's free act structure, and in free, the both free acts we have a mini game. So we got gaming Moe's, Cletus's dice den, and we had the uh, I think it was the Burns Casino. Um, hang on, <laughs> we had the Homer's House of Cards. Sorry, that was it. Homer's House of Cards. Burns' uh, gaming gaming modes and Cletus' dice den. So these were the uh, free little mini games we had. Very, very cool. Of course, it has crafting as well. There's plenty of things to craft. Um, it The theme was, of course, casino. So it's got a mini game, free act structure, and crafting. So, yeah, overall, some pretty solid things. Solid, solid theme. And... Yeah, so let's move on to the Winter 2016. So Winter 2016 was another free act structure event. We, of course, had crafting in this one as well. The theme was a bit different. Now, normally, this is obviously an annual event, so we always get uh, an event every December time to celebrate Christmas. But this one was a little bit different. They decided to do a kind of pagan aspect to it. Now, initially, I was kind of really, really against this because I was like, well, it's kind of ruining the spirit of Christmas. As of today, I kind of reflect on that opinion, and I'm like, eh, I kind of disagree with my opinion back then. Like, I think it's fine for them to do a pagan event. I just think the way it was done was very poor, and that was the main reason I kind of disliked the the theme, I guess. Um, crafting was, of course, there. We had a free free act uh, prize structure. So yeah, and lots of kind of, but there was no kind of mini game. There, there was a few kind of unique things. We had the singing stones, of course, that were added that made like a little tune. So there were new things that were added, but overall there wasn't anything too unique about the structure. Uh, so I think overall I'm giving this point to you, the Burns Casino. I think it had the better theme. I think it had, obviously it has the mini games going for it. So I think overall, just in terms of the structure and theme, I think it has to go to the Burns Casino event. So yeah, moving on. We shall move on to characters. So starting with the Burns Casino. Uh, the wiki splits it up in acts, so I'm just going to have to do that. But um, we'll start with, we had, of course, Ginger Flanders, Amber Simpson, the two kind of Vegas wives. We had Lucia Sweet and Chippy as an NPC. Uh, and then we had two skins, Hostess Miss Springfield and Magic Act Millhouse. That was just Act 1. Moving on to Act 2, we had Craig Demon and Casino Nessie. Casino Nessie being a... NPC, and then we had Casino Boss Bart for 90 Donuts as a costume, and then in Act 3, we had Gabo and Arthur added, and we had Reclusive Mr. Burns added as a skin for Mr. Burns. So, I think overall, very, very good characters. There isn't really any I really dislike. Maybe the Casino... I kind of wish that Casino Nessie had, had tasks. I think Casino Boss Bart was a kind of cruddy-ish costume. It wasn't too great. But I think overall, the characters and costumes are pretty damn strong. And then in Winter 2016, we only got two characters. We got the Parson and we got the Wiccans. Now, the Parson was an Act 1 prize and the Wiccans were 110 donuts, which were very, very overpriced in my opinion. Uh, although they are a 3-in-1 character, which is kind of cool. They are our first 3-in-1 character. That's the one decent thing about them, I guess. And then in terms of skins, we had New God Mr. Burns, which is a very, very cool skin. Uh, Sata Willy, which is pretty cool. 
Raven Crow Never Smiles is a eh, costume in my opinion. And uh, Star, Sn Star Snowsuit Maggie, which is an awesome, awesome costume. So, who do I think the point goes to? Well, I think in just in terms of quality, it has to go to the Burns Casino. Although I really like the Star Suit Maggie, and I really like New God Mr. Burns, and I really like the Parson as well from, from when it's 2016, I just think the Vegas Wives, Lucy is sweet, Chippy, uh, Craig Demon, and Gabo and Arthur, I mean, just them alone beat everything that Winter 2016 gave us. So, I think... That point easily goes to the Burns Casino. <laughs> Moving on, we come to buildings. So starting with the casino, we have Burns' Casino added. Of course, we have Gaming Mo's and Cletus' Dice Den, as we talked about before. The Impulse Wedding Chapel. We have Safari Casino, Britannia Casino, and La Belle Frat Fratage. Fratage? Fratage? I don't know how I'm saying I'm probably saying that wrong. And um, Act 2, we got Homer's House of Cards, Lucky Casino, and Woodstock Casino. And in Act 3, we had Nero's Palace Casino, Chinese Acrobatic Theatre, and the Peacock Lounge. So, very, very cool buildings. There isn't really one I ultimately dislike. I'm not a huge fan of the Woodcut Woodstock Casino, just because I think it's a bit eh. Uh, a bit cruddy. I mean, the Cletus' Dice Den and the Homer's House of Cards I'm not massive fans of, just because they're kind of exclusive. And gaming modes to some extent as well. Uh, they're kind of like air eh, cruddy-ish exclusive buildings, but they're not too bad. And then, moving on to win winter 2016, we got buildings such as, not very many, but we got Springfield Henge, which in my opinion, should be a decoration. Lumber Mill, uh, which is okay. The $5 Antler Rental, and uh, debatable if it should be a building or decoration. I can I can accept it being a building. Uh, the Ball Pit, which really should be a decoration. Uh, Phonehenge Kiosk, which, again, it's kind of debatable whether that should be a building or decoration. And that's it. Those are the only buildings we got. So, I think it's pretty evident that I'm giving this point to... Burns Casino, just, oh no, just because it had really, really good buildings compared to Winter 2016. And that concludes the episode. This is probably the quickest one I've done. Uh, by far, Burns Casino wins. I mean, I definitely would have given the point for decorations, and I would have given the point for my overall view. So, Winter 2016 wouldn't even have got one point, and uh, yeah, Burns Casino... Uh, <laughs> absolutely destroys winter 2016. So we will submit the scores. This one was very harsh. I feel bad for poor old winter 2016. Um, it's just slowly saving the scores. But yeah, I think this one is just it's it's a doozy. I think Burns Casino was a very very solid event. Uh, winter 2016 was kind of a cruddy event, so uh, it wasn't really much competition to, to be fair to poor old winter 2016, which of course loses. But Burns Casino goes to the next round where it will be battling Bart Royale. So tune in next week for us doing our final uh, episode for round one. And that will be the Simpsons Wrestling versus Destination Springfield. Whew, <laughs> that will be an interesting one. So thanks for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed this episode of TSTO Battle of the Best Events. I apologize what it was a little bit short. But, I mean, what can you do? It was um, it was an unfair, unfair battle really it was it was like a baby fighting a mma fighter it just was not gonna happen um so yeah thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next video goodbye